Throughout history, man has always engaged in war. Despite a desire for peace, many states and people continue to resort to armed conflict, leading too often to death and suffering. Henri Dunant, a true pioneer of modern humanitarian work, transformed a wildly ambitious dream into reality. To uphold a measure of humanity in armed conflict, by persuading states to sign up to the first Geneva Convention in 1864. Today, and for the past half century, the Red Cross and Red Crescent movement has continued the visionary work of Dunant. To protect and assist the civilian and military victims of armed conflict and internal violence, this is the mission of the ICRC. To visit prisoners of war and civilian detainees, to trace people reported missing, to re-establish family links, to provide water, food, health care and shelter, to spread knowledge of humanitarian law and to ensure it is applied. Since the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War, the neutral and independent humanitarian work of the ICRC has faced new challenges. The task is colossal. The path, chaotic. But the commitment and motivation of the teams are there for all to see. Whatever the situation, it's necessary to act quickly and to make the right choices. Over the last three years, wars and natural disaster have affected millions of people across the world. What has been the response? To show the work of the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement, we've chosen seven contexts. The conflict in Darfur, the war in Iraq, Nepal, Yemen, the tsunami in Southeast Asia, the situation in Chechnya, and the earthquake in Pakistan.